We all love a squeaky clean drivetrain and a well lubed chain, but when you're doing all this cleaning and lubing, it's quite easy to make some mistakes that will actually do your e-bike more harm than good. So here's a few of the most common mistakes. Right, first mistake in the workshop, and this one's really easy to do, is when you're using spray lubes or spray polish. Now, if you're cleaning your bike, spraying that polish onto your frame, maybe on the swing arm or the forks, you can get that to drift across, and that will go onto your brake rotor. And the same if you're lubing your chain using a spray bottle, again, that can drift and contaminate your brake pads really easily, meaning they're gonna howl like a banshee and give you zero power. So the way that we get around this problem is to actually apply the chain lube using a dropper bottle rather than that spray lube. Now, if you are using a spray lube, you definitely need to use a straw applicator on this. And where you spray it, you need to be spraying it towards the front of the chain ring at the bottom of the chain rather than all over the chain, you know, on your cassette, things like that. If you are using polish to give your bike a little bit of sparkle, when you're applying it around the brake area, you definitely need to spray it into the cloth, then apply it to the bike. If you do, just spray it straight onto the the bike, you're definitely going to run into problems. Now, degreaser is definitely really good stuff and it does do what it says on the tin. Now, the problem with this is when you're using it on components that you don't want to get the grease stripped out of, you can run into problems. Say, for instance, on a cassette, if you were to be uh, degreasing this in situ and spraying it onto your cassette, you could find that the degreaser actually sits onto the wheel axle, runs down it, and then goes into your bearings. And of course, if you're stripping the grease out of your bearings, you're gonna have rough bearings. So the way that we get around this problem, ideally you want to remove the component from the bike that you want to degrease. Say for instance, this cassette scenario, rather than doing it in situ with those wheel bearings in place, if you just take five minutes to remove the cassette, you can actually entirely submerge it into degreaser and it will do a way better job than trying to do it on the bike. Now you might have noticed that you can't backpedal your e-bike like you can on a standard mountain bike to do things such as inspecting, cleaning, or lubing your chain. Now there's a great little hack for this which involves jamming something into your chain ring or the chain ring bolt, which then butts up against a crank and then it will allow you to backpedal. But if you choose the wrong tool or the wrong object for doing this, sometimes they can get jammed in there and cause you an absolute headache to try and get it removed. Yes, you might find that that Allen key jammed in there does do the job a few times, but I guarantee you it will get stuck and it might cause some damage to your bike by scratching it and things like that. And we do have tools on the market such as this one from Muckoff, which is designed for the job in hand. You have a soft bit of rubber on here. You have multiple different bits. You have five mil, you have Torx, uh, all the different adapters to suit different chain ring bolts. And this thing won't damage your bike and it is purely designed for that job in hand. Super easy, no stress. Now something that can happen after removing your chain for a bit of lubing and cleaning can be that you fitted that chain back to your bike and you go out for a test ride and that chain is jumping around all over the place. Now what could this be? Now first up you need to check the orientation of your chain. If you're running a Shimano chain on your bike you need to make sure that all the Shimano branding and the printing of the chain is facing outwards of the bike. If you've got it facing inwards that chain is actually fitted backwards. Next up is going to be the quick link orientation too. Some quick links need to be installed a certain way, particularly on those Eagle, SRAM Eagle chains, that quick link needs to go the right way. Particularly if you're experiencing nice smooth running and then all of a sudden it jumps. Check that quick link because I guarantee it's fitted the wrong way. If you apply the wrong lube for the conditions that you're riding in, this can definitely damage your chain too. Say for instance, if you're riding in the dry and you apply wet lube, well this is just gonna cause a big sticky mess and attract every single bit of dust and dirt to your chain and therefore creating a bit of a, a grinding pace going on. And similarly, if you're riding in the wet conditions with a dry condition lube, that's just gonna uh, rinse away in that first bit of water, leaving your chain unprotected. Now the way that we get around this problem is by using the right lube for the conditions that you're riding in or just using an all-purpose lubes which will cover most bases wet or dry. And we see some great results from riders just using chain wax to protect their chains too. 
Degrease has come in all different types. You have some that will evaporate soon after use, meaning you can apply that lube and you're good to go. And some degreases actually require you to remove the degreaser with water before you apply that grease. Now you need to make sure which type of degreaser you're using because if you apply lube to something that's still got degreaser on that is active, you may well have not bothered. If you are using one of those degreasers that requires water to remove it, then just make sure you spend some time thoroughly removing that degreaser from it. And don't forget, after you have washed it off, remove all trace of water off of it and make sure it is definitely nice and dry. Now everyone loves a clean and spanking fresh bike after you get back from a ride, you wash it off and a classic lube mistake is to actually lube a wet chain. So your bike is actually wet and then you've added lube to your chain. Now all this is gonna do is add a protective layer around that water and rush your chain internally. And that's super bad news if you're putting your bike in the shed for a couple of weeks. So the remedy for this is just making sure that that chain is definitely bone dry. It's really worth taking your time with this. You can do this in many different ways, absorbent towel, a rag, use a leaf blower or compressed air. Just make sure every drop of water is out of that chain before you add that lube. So there you go, a few classic lubing and cleaning mistakes that have caught me out over the years. Uh, let us know if you fell foul to a few of those down in the comments box down below, or if, if I've missed any out too, get involved. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN, and whilst you're there subscribing, get in the merch shop to check out all the latest new t-shirts, jerseys, socks, you name it.